Hello everybody, my name is Rodolfo and I'm studying for my next license in the boiler industry. Today I'm going to continue the previous video, okay, answering the questions that Ivan sent to me. Thank you Ivan for helping. And uh, yesterday I was uh, doing live, I was uh, answering giving my best answer as I was uh, reading the questions. Today was a little hard than yesterday. So I have to stop the video and go uh, check my answers. Uh, I was not 100% sure or I was not satisfied with my answer. So today, uh, let's try again, okay? I'm gonna answer two pages and I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel, okay? If you wanna put a comment, I appreciate it, okay? So let's start it. Hot water heating boiler is protected over from overpressure by means of a valve so hot water so hot water heating boilers safe relief okay safety pop that's the safety valve is for steam only okay or or air no no liquid so because it's a hot water it's a safe relief Okay. The purpose of steam trap is to in the steam line. So it's not to cause water hammer. Okay. So water hammer, no. Uh, prevent air to flowing. So the steam trap, the steam trap will not prevent f flowing of anything because, like you guys already know. If this is the steam line, okay, the trap is gonna be here. Okay, so it's down below the steam line. So the flow will, will go through. But any condensate that accumulates on the bottom of the pipe will fall here and the steam trap will send it to the condensate tank. So drain condensate, that's my best answer. The purpose of modulating control on a boiler is to, so this one I was thinking, uh, because we have modulating control valves that open and close. So we'll act as open or close, okay? But, okay? We using some modulating valves on the fuel and, and air, not the air because the air is, of, uh, is for the fan. Okay, so it's more for the fuel, modulating control for the fuel. And then the linkage will increase the amount of air. Okay, so I put my best sensor B, okay, but I'm also, uh, it's, it's, if not, if it was not for the air, okay, because if you see the Cleveland broke boilers, okay, the modulating valve will increase and reduce the fuel, okay, and the linkage will increase and reduce, will modulate the air, so... And we also have modulating valve that open and close. But if you say modulating, it's to adjust. So forget it. I'm going to go with A. A. What is the wattage when 4.5 amps flow under a pressure of 12 volts? So the formula is watts equals amps times volts 
So 12 times 4.25 is equal to 51 watts. So the answer is 51 watts. A class fire extinguisher is suitable for putting out fires in electrical equipment. Electrical equipment is C, so the answer is B. C is for electrical. So the proper method used to fall a frozen water pipe inside a building is so if you use electric heating pad it's okay okay it's okay to use apply heavy towels dipped in hot water it's okay to use but could damage the wall okay especially the drywall use a blow tor torch never fire not good you could burn your house or the building it start falling in the middle of the frozen section so that's the right thing to do too it's correct so i would say the proper method is starting in the middle, okay? Because uh, you have a section that's frozen, right? You have a section that's frozen. So this is where the water comes from, okay? So when they start to freeze here, from the center, we will start to freeze the sides, okay? So, pressure will come to this more, more liquid stage and the center will be the harder stage. So I think the correct answer is start from the middle to the ends, especially to where the water is going. So I will go with D. Okay. I think it, it's more correct method. Okay. Because you could use hair dryer. You could use a fan. A space heater. Okay. But never blow torch. Okay. Never. If a faucet drips when closed and vibrates when open, the trouble is usually, I would go to the easiest one, okay? Warm washer, okay? If it's a high pressure boiler, okay? Uh, I would say, because I think like this, okay, you have a valve here, right? You have a pipe. Okay, and then you have the valve. If it's leaking outside of the valve, okay, then, okay, you could say I, uh, a new packing is required, but also if it's leaking out of the valve you could uh you could tie the the packing okay so they have uh nuts here and you could tie okay like a quarter turn to make the packing more compressed and that could help to stop leaking if it's a, a new valve and start to leak out of the valve okay you could tight a little bit the packing and that could stop uh, the, the leaking okay 
probably not gonna vibrate when it's, when it's open, okay? Because when steam goes through here, will will not leak at all because we'll, the, the 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 pipe will get hot, okay? But we're not talking about valves, right? We're talking about faucets, okay? So when you talk about faucets, I would go warm washer, okay? Not packing because I don't believe so. And uh, packing, I would I would use more for boiler valves, not faucet. Humidification is fairly simple in buildings equipped with hot water heating system by placing a single humidifier in the platen. So I go to hot water. Uh, I will not go with steam, okay? Because I would say they steam to heat the air, but not to humidify the air, okay? Infrared, no. And warm air, no. Warm air is to heating the building, not for humidification. Water gauge on a hot water heating system is placed on the boiler. Okay. Because we don't put valve, gauge valve in the radiator. Okay. Uh, you don't put water gauge on the feed pump. You could put a gauge on the feed pump, but not a water gauge. Now you could put the one that has oil inside to reduce vibration. Uh, and the expansion tank, you don't put gauge at all, and the radiator don't put gauge at all. So between the feed pump and the boiler, I'll put in the boiler. Okay. The altitude gauge on a hot water boiler indicates 230 feet. These represent I have to Google this answer is a hundred PSI. When we say that the water is hard, we mean, when you say that water is hard, we mean it contains calcium, magnesium, carbonate. So this I'm very confident because we, we have softeners, okay? to soft the water before we add this water into the DA tank. So the softener resin beans will, redo, will remove calcium and magnesium from the water. So hard water will contain calcium and magnesium. So my answer would be Hard water contains calcium and magnesium carbonates. And the last question. The suction valve in a centrifugal pump should not be partially closed because you burn the pump. Okay. Uh, I'll not say overload the motor because we'll, we'll keep spinning, okay? And spinning with no water will cause friction that will burn the pump before overloads the motor, okay? Uh, it will damage the pump, yes. The pump will burn up, yes. It will trip, strip the gear. Not really and not really, but I will be between will damage the pump or the pump will burn out. So between, I think it will be more reasonable to say will damage the pump. No, will not damage the pump. We start to burn the pump. Yeah, I will keep my answer. It will burn the pump, okay? Because what's the step for start a centrifugal pump? Open. 
and check open the discharge okay and then you open the vents and prime the pump prime the pump then you close check close oh sorry not to discharge suction okay suction suction sorry and close check close the discharge okay after you prime the pump close check close the discharge you close the vents and then you start the pump start pump and then you're gonna start to open the discharge so i hope you guys like this video and tomorrow i will come with the part number three of this question and answers okay i see you guys tomorrow thank you